It's a crime that is unthinkable. It's called sororicide, the act of killing one's own sister. Their mom says they were inseparable. 13-year-old Paris Bennett was a loving and protective big brother to four-year-old Ella. Kissy sister. Ella loves her big brother and his toys. But there were also signs of deep emotional turmoil, as seen in these home movies. A 10-year-old Paris vigorously shakes his baby sister's head. Hi. <laughs> Gentle. Mom Charity showed us this home video in which her son makes this vow. Then it happened. Paris stabbed Ella 17 times with a kitchen knife. I accidentally killed somebody. You think you killed somebody? No, I know I did. I feel so messed up. Is she bleeding right now? No. Is she bleeding anywhere? Yes, yeah, she's bleeding all over the bed. <laughs> because I stabbed her. When the autopsy came back, I found out that, you know, Ella had been stabbed 17 times and beaten and choked. And basically my daughter was tortured. Even though he's responsible for killing her daughter, Paris's mother, Charity, still comes to visit him every few months at this Texas prison, where Paris is serving a 40-year sentence. I make no excuses for myself. Paris is now 24. I was allowed to speak with him through this glass window. This wasn't one or two times, 17 times. There was a goal here. What was the goal? The goal was to kill her. And why? His answer may be the most disturbing declaration of sibling rivalry imaginable. I did think that by killing Ella, I could have my mother back all to myself. Where'd you stab her? Lots of places. One aspect of this crime is particularly shocking. The 911 operator told Paris how to perform CPR on his sister the night he stabbed her. Go ahead, count. One, two, three, four. Listen to this admission. No, I did not try to perform CPR. I took the phone and I left the room. And I remember counting into the phone to make the operator think that I was doing CPR. So that voice we hear on the 911 call, that voice we hear counting is just you on the phone in another room. Yes, I wasn't even in the room at that point. The harrowing story has now been made into a documentary, The Family I Had, featured on Investigation Discovery. For Charity, the nightmare of that tragic evening will stay with her forever. Have you forgiven Paris? Yes. Why? I hate what he did, but I can't hate my son. Harris Bennett will be eligible for parole in 2027.